they their heads are like these gloves and it's got this really soft light that kind of fades in and out as well it really looks creepy and it was really foggy last night do you buy the was it a set yeah Carrie found him somewhere. I love that. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> Tell her that. You need thing. a lighted cauldron in the middle between all three yeah. of them. <laughs> hey, Jack. Hey. Are you in the middle of business tax season, Jack? Uh, the last couple weeks of the procrastinators. Yeah. yeah. You drawing? Friday inspiration for us today? I do. And today's inspiration comes from Gemma Troy. Remember your words can plant gardens or burn whole forests down. Oh, good one. <laughs> Thank you, Eileen. Okay. Did I spit something? Please be seated. Okay, so for, let's see, any guests here this morning? Kind of hobs. Kind of, yeah. Kind of hobs. Thanks for letting me still be a member. I was worried that I wouldn't have my badge. <laughs> well, okay, I still want you back. <laughs> we just want the money. Yeah, we just want yeah. your check. Yeah. From the state. <laughs> Well, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, let's see. Uh, birthday. We don't have any birthdays, anniversaries, wedding anniversaries, or rotary anniversaries today, which is really surprising. Um, for announcements, we've got a couple things coming up. We're doing a bowling night, which is not really bowling. So we have been talking about for a while. We, you know, we all support our other clubs and nonprofits within the community. The food bank is doing our annual empty bowls fundraiser, which is a really fun fundraiser if you haven't been. Um, and they collect artisan bowls from local artists. And then there's usually food, chili and soup and all kinds of things that you could put in your new bowl. 
and for a like, single brewing company, and I think five rides usually come. And so it's a great event. Um, and so this year, in support of that, we put together an event at um, Burkhead Art Center. It's on October 13th from 5.30 to 7.30. And if you need to take a little more time, you can. And we're going to paint bowls. The bowls will be all ready to go. And we just show up and um, paint our bowls, whether we want to do it in a rotary theme or a Lake Stevens theme or just colors, whatever your interpretation is to beautify this bowl. It's amazing. And then we're going to donate them to the food bank. The cost is $25, and that covers all your supplies, your bowl, your glazes, um, and some snacks, and it's BYOB. Um, your own bowl, right? Well, I, I, and I did not put that on the, the announcement because bring your own bowl, but it is bring your own Diet Coke yeah. <laughs> substitute. Okay, so we've got that. Um, harvest Fest. So the farmer's market is doing a harvest fest. Um, on October 23 from 11 to 4. Do we want to have a booth down there? And the booth would really be um, awareness. We're going to give away candy because there will be small trick-or-treaters down there. Um, and I'm hoping it will be right next door to Lake Stevens Arts and Parks. So we'll have our friends right next door, me and Jim. And um, it'll be a great event. Is there anyone that's interested in doing the Harvest Fest? Which date is it? It is Saturday, October 23rd from 11 to 4. And that's going to be the standard kids come down, trick or treat, get candy. Um, it's it's not reserved. it's not the big city one that's so awesome. No, it's the farmer's awesome. market one. And so all the market vendors will have candy to give out. Um, because we don't have the city one, I think there's going to be a significant number of kids coming, mm -hmm. right? That's something to do. So we will have Costco bags of candy to give out. And it's and really, it's so fun. I've worked with other groups doing the city one every year forever. And it is so fun to see the little kids and the families are so thankful. And um, it's just a great community event. It's going to be cold. Somebody will probably be there giving away hot cider. Usually the Kiwanis or the Lions give away the cider if they're there. Um, and it'll, it'll probably the ball will probably be fired up. So it'll just be a great fall event if anyone is interested. But we can't do it if we don't have volunteers. <clears throat> so you said you're gonna do candy or you're gonna do popcorn like you've done in the past? Uh Jim. I think we should do candy because it's wrapped. Yeah, yeah. 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 the theme of the yeah. 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 coffee for the popcorn yeah. and sugar pack. The best part of that whole thing is cleaning the machine when it's done. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I have gone to pro level at cleaning that machine. But, you said um, that was the 16th again? It is the 23rd, 11 to 4. So it's probably mm -hmm. set up starting at 10. Well, I would certainly be willing if I'm available. You know, I think everybody's got the same problem. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard. Yeah. 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 I would think that there is a care that we're going to have a couple people that will have the afternoon available. That's what I'm thinking, too. So yeah. maybe, um, Mr. Ruiz, if you would like to send out a email or something. But I think so we want to do it. 11 to, 11 11 to 4 is the <laughs> official time. Okay, and then moving on. Um, so next Friday and the 22nd, the school district meets the building. So next Friday, um, we'll be at the buzz. Has anyone decided? Oh, wow. Have you, yeah. have you talked to them? I have not talked to them. I stopped by there this morning. <laughs> the gal didn't know. She was too confused. For it. So she's going to call back at 11. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. It's on permanent record. Oh. Being recorded. <laughs> okay, so look for your email of where to attend next Friday. So that's next Friday the 8th and the 22nd. There's an internal org um, department that needs the room, so we've been booted. Um, okay, one more thing. Is anyone interested in starting a walking club? So after Rotary, we'll come to Rotary, we'll drink all the coffee, we'll have all the fun, and then Amelia always has at least one pot of coffee here that we can fill our cups and go head to the trail three blocks down the road and walk. If and anyone, pardon? Uh, at the trailhead. At the trailhead. So we're behind the fence. Good point. Well, that's true. There is one right here. Good point. 
Okay, so just throwing that out there, if anyone is interested in that, let's talk about that later. Um, okay, past president report. Uh, oh, we'll talk about forks and cakes. <laughs> forks and cakes, chair. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> so, so there was this whole event. Yeah, no, hey, I want to thank everybody for all the hard work and the blood, sweat, and tears, and everything like that. I mean, it was awesome. You guys did a lot of challenges that we got through and persevered and put our heads down and made it happen and got it done. We had a few glitches and things like that, but we got through it all. Everybody should be applauded. I'm gonna applaud you guys because wow. <laughs> you know, we that done, thank all the donors and the people that bid, and we actually made it happen. And we want to talk a little bit about this a little bit afterwards, kind of an action item review kind of a thing. Is this my paycheck? Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, and I think we made some money. And I don't know if the treasurer wants to talk about that a little bit about where we came from, or I'll do it right here. Jim, Jim's going to make some. Hey, Chris. Yes, yeah, Chris, why don't you come up a little bit so the folks can hear. Zoomers, can you hear Chris? <clears throat> Hi, can you yeah. hear me now? Oh. Can you see me now? Okay, yeah, I'm right here. Yeah, look can you hear him better now? <clears throat> okay, hi, Sam. Okay, so I'm going to try and turn this way. There you go. I'll turn this way. Yeah. So anyhow, so I have the roll up here. Thank you, uh, Lori, treasurer. So Jim. I'll, Jim. what? Jim. 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 Thank you, Jim. <laughs> I got it from her. Good. I knew it came from somebody. <laughs> so anyhow, I'm going to read through this a little bit. We have uh, our income. So the auction sales uh, for last year was about fourteen thousand bucks, and this year was about eleven thousand. So we're three thousand apart there. Not too bad. And donations uh, were uh, up uh, about a thousand bucks from last year. Uh, sponsors. We're up significantly, about $8,000 were up on sponsorships. And the, the coin quest brought in just about 4,000. So you guys did a pretty good job on the coin quest, not having the pancake thing and, and aqua fest and all that. We did have a little thing out there and, and we did a good job. It was, it was a good looking Christmas. That's what it was. Yeah, he and I were down there and we were talking to everybody and it was awesome. Jay's market brings it in. They did comment though. They said, "We've never seen somebody sit at the table that blocked everybody coming from the back side." Exactly. No, that was totally right. They had to walk around top to us. The strategic. <laughs> so anyhow, <clears throat> and so the packages we had uh, some of our expenses were the greater giving um, was about eight hundred dollars, so about a hundred dollar difference. Uh, the greater giving online about the same. It was the same. Wine purchases we don't have last year's, but that was about uh, 900 bucks. Coin Quest tickets printing 800, about 900 dollars. Coin Quest prizes 2,050 for the payout, and admission tickets that cost the printing that we didn't use 152 dollars. So that was really minimized. And then we have other expenses, miscellaneous, all the meetings and the drinking we did, not really, but it was about 1,600. Yeah. <laughs> 1600 bucks. So the total roll up there uh, for expenses last year was about 3,400 bucks. And this year was about 5,500. And I'm back up to the total income roll up. So in 2020, uh, <clears throat> all considered, all the income that came in was about 31,000, 31,000 last year. And this year, 41,000. So a lot of the sponsorships kicked in and kind of made it happen. And I'd like to have a special thank you for one of our senators here in the room, Senator Steve Hobbs, for helping with the wine and everything. I appreciate that. I think he deserves a round of applause. Sam Michelle was very generous. And um, we'll raise the cash. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll pay for it somehow. <laughs> So we're the giveaway <laughs> So the total event balance came to this. 2020 was twenty-seven thousand seven hundred and thirty-three dollars, and in 2021 it's thirty-five thousand seven hundred and ninety-three. So we made some dough. So is that your growth or your net? That's yeah. the net. Yay! Wow. I'm a little surprised to say. 
I just say, awesome, man, don't figure out why you got that high. Funky math in the it was what it is, it's funky. <laughs> <laughs> why would you, why would you That's awesome. that made the expense 2000 higher? That's top secret. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it was, it worked. Do it again next year. Exactly. Add more alcohol. Yeah. Any other questions? <laughs> it was amazing. Okay. It was a fun night too. It was very fun. Thank you, Kevin and uh, Gary, if you're not watching. Um, oh, movie stars. Any um, questions over here? No, but we did. I did forget to talk about strides. Um, Miss Eileen, do you want to make an announcement about uh, strides? Yes. So um, Rotary decided to sponsor a strides team for the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk, which is coming up on October 30th, as breast cancer is. Uh, as October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And so <clears throat> I've already created a team. Uh, I will be sending out an email with the link so you can go and directly sign up. If you feel like raising some extra money, that would be great. Otherwise, um, <clears throat> they're gonna do a staggered beginnings because usually there's like a thousand people that go to this event and because of COVID, they're gonna have some staggering starting times. And so I don't know exactly what they are just yet. But if you just go sign up, it's um, literally like a three mile walk. It's not super long. It's It'll be downtown Everett, right? Where the courthouse is. And then you'll walk, um, I think it's down the, that same street towards the water. And then you'll make a right. And then you walk down, um, I can't remember what street it is, but you basically walk around Providence and then you come back. So literally you'd be done in a couple of hours. It doesn't take that long. Um, but uh, if you have the time and would like to come and support, that'd be great. I will be there. Um, and uh, we have been credited the $500 that we donated for our sponsorship to our team. So thank you. That's awesome, thank you. One last question. Um, do you have an update on our swag, Eileen? Uh, no, I do not. And that is on my list after this meeting is to call and find out where it is because it should have been done. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Okay, uh, Treasurer, do you have a report? Well, or did we just have a report? I think we just had it. It was yeah, lovely. Job, I, I appreciated it. Uh, yeah, our secretary is in on the beach right now, so he's not there. He's sleeping. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, yeah, there's, well, maybe. They're probably still up from last night. Uh, okay, President elect, we just did you. Um, Keith Partington is not on, uh, but for um, club services, we will have a different location next Friday. So be aware. Don't be like me and pulling the drive, pulling in and wonder where everyone is. Um, community services, Brian. Um, keep in mind, everybody, with the holidays coming up, the food bank really needs some help with uh, volunteering, collecting food that they're going to be at Hagen, but pretty much every weekend. So um, I'll shoot out an email, though, with the lady that coordinates that with her phone number. And if anybody can volunteer, that would be awesome. So that's that. Awesome. Thank you. And thank you so much, Brian, for letting us take over your office for Corks and Keg. That was amazing. We'll do it again. And, um, <laughs> An amazing location. Uh, Jim Hagen Foundation. So let's just back up. Uh, so the, the, the Tuesday Club is going to do something next weekend, correct? Next Saturday, you guys have so, a, you know, we So should... we, uh, I mean, uh, all the people in this club, you know, the regular people can participate and get involved. And, you know, uh, uh, you're regular. Yeah, regular. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what are they doing? Kyle, do you want to talk about your? Uh, I will not be there because I have my wife's birthday. So, but right. no, I know what the uh, when Connor had presented to us that we it would be nice to do basically take a big like squeeze that you find, but the I mean, head location. I think we're set up on Tuesday. We're gonna make sure we know where because uh, that's our next meeting. If anyone wants to come, is on Tuesday at Brian's off the press street. Of course, he's still letting us use that place, so it's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're gonna basically the goal is we're taking big leaps. Um, and then after that, basically, we'll go over and have to go over at Lake City Brewery or wherever else we decide at that time. Uh, but we're still getting final details because I know we'll get close to that. If we can't, we also like to, hey, they'd like to join this club as well. Awesome, thank you. Uh, um, well, by, yes. by the way, I had a, a, a suggestion from one, actually from one of our uh, upcoming speakers of uh, 
of a community service. Uh, and that is to do some uh, general maintenance at the, the uh, old cemetery in the Chias. Um, I, you know, I guess there's a lot of folks from when Steve was buried there, you know. We were trying to get in. <laughs> yeah, we were trying to get in. But anyhow, that's something that, uh, I think you're looking for something like just kind of yard maintenance and maybe some uh, good idea, actually. So uh, I'll send you the email. Yeah, I think it's next week. I'll just chime in real quick um, yeah. in regards to us to finalizing the details this coming Tuesday for where we're going to be on Saturday. Um, <clears throat> there was a post on Facebook asking the community for their feedback and listing what places are high need to be weeded, need to be maintained, need to have litter picked up and such. Um, so we're going to finalize that on Tuesday. And then I'm just going to kind of present an idea that when the weather's nice, that the rotary, with help of Brian, can sort of like I'm happy to leave like every Thursday, people just meet for an hour and a half and clean up the community. So, and then we can take every, we can eventually get all the locations. Really, I've been doing lots of litter cleanup and if you have a couple people in one hour, you can bang out tons of work. Um, so that would just be a fun way to keep rotary, off, uh, rotary in action moving along and keep our faith in the community and keep it maintained on a regular basis and be able to That's awesome. Definitely good idea. Okay, that was really awesome. Good idea. Okay. Uh, yeah, Brian's is great. Foundation, thank you. Amazing. <laughs> uh, International Tracy's not here. Membership, Ron's not here, but we're doing awesome. Um, we do have a staff change, shift change. Uh, Miss Eileen is now our public relations chair, and Chris has. Thankfully, agreed to be our pet chair. Yay! That's amazing, awesome news, and I'm very thankful that you guys volunteered so quickly so there's no lapse. Um, we are still looking for Sergeant of Arms, and um, we are looking for club services. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. David Johnson resigned? Um, no, he's on just a short break. Short? <laughs> He's on a short break. Um, okay, so Kristen here. Do you have anything on Scout? For Scout? I'm thinking. Okay, uh, that's enough. They do recharge, so we do every year you do recharge for the postal thing. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Um, Eileen, do you have anything on public relations for your first day as official public relations chair on the spot? We can't hear you. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That usually doesn't happen. Um, I want, um, I'm planning to make some more um, posts for our sponsors to make sure that they get their money's worth as far as the investment and exposure. But the other thing is I'm waiting on the winners for CoinQuest so I can point uh, post that. Um, so let, you know, celebrate those who have won. And then if anybody has anything that they want to share or just, Text me, email me. Oh, and please, please, please don't use my Hotmail email. I, please use the Sherwood email. It's much easier. Um, <clears throat> uh, but yeah, so if you've got an idea or an announcement or something that's exciting, send it my way and I will put it up. That's awesome. And will you please put up a reminder about Tuesday's meeting? Yes. Words, I don't know. There's one on there that you can, you can use as a guide or copy and paste. Done. Done. Awesome. I'll do that today. Okay, Sergeant of Arms. Hey, hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Hey, good morning. 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 All right. Seriously, if um, if you are sitting next to a person with the same name, oh, that's a but. <laughs> <laughs> you know your evaluations. Hey, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> what about opposing neighbors? Yeah. Okay, if your name 
It happens to be Chris. Christopher. Chris Christopher. Christoph. Christian. That's it. All right. Oh, Chris. Chris Gus. If your name happens to be C, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if you are a state senator, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> from left to right. Left to right. Lori. Salad fork, dinner fork, knife, spoon, spoon. Fabulous. Okay, everybody owes a buck except Lori. <laughs> dessert at the top. Yeah. You want to do two points? I want a dessert. <laughs> <laughs> that really should be there. I don't put all that out, so I don't want to put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> Most of the you don't use, you just put it back in the toilet. Yeah, I don't do that. Like, once it's out, it's out. It's not going back in. Ninja Warriors. <laughs> I had it right. I went, you can get it. That's why they went to this fork. Yes. One. The one on all the All right, we're going to switch over to Happy Bucks. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Zoomers, Zoomers, I apologize to you. I always forget you, but you know I love you. I love you dearly. So um, just because I love you so much, you all owe a buck. <laughs> so let's let's switch over to happy bucks and Zoomers go first. Scott. I got one happy buck for those amazing Mariners. Go Mariners. I'm going to the game on Sunday. Go Mariners. Do a happy five for a successful Quirks and Kegs. Good job, guys. Nice. Eileen. I have a happy five that it's done, that we raised money and it's done. Even better. Even better. I'll double down on that. Okay, Anyone Jack, else? you're look, Jack, look at Jack. He's like so happy. He's ready He's to say something. <laughs> I'll give a half a buck for coffee. That, that's <laughs> the most important thing. I do have to say, you did have the best smelling donation in the auction, Jack. Well, there you go. I hope it did well. <laughs> oh, amazing. We opened the lid, it's like, just put it in my car. We're not there you go. <laughs> amazing. He donated the whole collection of coffee. Nice. But I've never smelled anything. I mean, it was amazing. All right, Zoomers, good job. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to be spirit and I'm happy to be here. I went to the Center uh, Farm last night, and uh, what a wonderful place to live in. Great people running for office. And so I was really encouraged, everybody, to sign up. Did you change any of your votes after the? Did you change your your vote on after the forum? You know, I had no problem figuring out what to vote for. So I haven't decided. Any man is game. Vote early, vote often. Vote early, vote often. So I I got a happy five. Uh, since Chris has volunteered to be the IT guy, so I think if you have a few minutes after the meeting, I'm going to go over the computer and stats. I think that's great because now I don't have to be here like 20 minutes early. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> we thought you'd appreciate that. Um, so, uh, happy Friday, pork and cakes. Thank you, everyone. Um, I, I mean, we're a last minute club. Right? So I was a little worried. 
honestly, about the number of donations, and you guys rocked it. We had as many this year as we've had in the past, and we raised a ton of money, and we had a lot of fun. So thank you so much. Cool. Yeah. is too hot in that room with with uh, well, you're wearing the Viking guard. <laughs> we were wrapped in fur. I was fine with my beer and pizza. Oh, and can I give an extra happy buck? for Don's fantastic hair that night, because it was the bomb. Yeah. It's actually, it's filled out in a, a membership application. Uh, I'm happy to be here and to be able to provide my tech services. Yeah. Uh, let's see, I wanted to talk about that my family can move down to me. In this case, my family that's me from Arizona and Illinois to come hang out with us for the weekend. Having five, that I hope I do good golfing because I'm going golfing on Saturday at Arcadia. And then last one, a dollar because I found you got cool quick. So I'm <laughs> to be here though, not just to. Nice, nice. Well done. Try to encourage. And then I'm going to have to be five because my daughter is back in school today. <laughs> and we're healthy. Okay, I got a happy five. I'm going to continue the kind of the Joyce uh, comment. We live in a wonderful community. It was extremely heartwarming to hear almost every person running for position agreed that providing money to the food bank is a huge essential piece to the to the success of this community. So that was extremely heartwarming. Second is going to be for. Uh, getting that prop levy lifted. We're gonna get that thing funded. It's 23 cents per 1,000. It's absolutely nothing out of your pocket to keep that essential service going. So those are my two political comments. <laughs> 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 I'm happy that Tesla has downloaded some new software <laughs> that makes the self-driving a lot easier. So I'm doing some of the testing on that. Are you really using the self-driving? <laughs> He's so generous to let Lord I just saw out. your car leave the parking lot. <laughs> 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 <It's right here. laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, Jason Hall, Jason Hall, you might as well have this one. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Do you have any more, Lauren? <laughs> so I'm going to Arizona, but I'm worried about COVID there because I just got an email from the Green Valley Rotary Club that our meeting on Tuesday is in the hospital. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> well, Venmo has five months for the fall weather. I absolutely love rain. You're giddy. <laughs> okay, so I got I got to watch. I, got, I haven't been here for a while. So I, got, I, got, I got some money here. So. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm not back. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, could you tell Ray? Because we have to start getting questions. Uh, I guess the healthcare system is really stressed. Uh, yeah. Now I'm an industry officer. I don't know Jack, I'm not <laughs> medical, but I, I can lead. I feel you. So, yeah, thank, you, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, also, probably a special session where it, I've been in a couple of weeks of negotiations for a transportation package to wait for the, the PC to just get their act together. Um, we, we're just kind of, because they're going to give us a bunch of money and we're hoping. We need a transportation package, and of course, Trussell, right? We all know. Uh, I've been touching my bucket for almost nothing years. And I'm really glad that the Frontier Village uh, intersection there has finally you know, come to fruition. It took me forever fighting with the governor and everything. Um, this is for my son, Winston, who graduated from basic training today. COVID protocol, I couldn't go there, but uh, December, he should be done with his infantry uh, training. I don't know why he picked infantry, it's from the Anyway, <laughs> so anyway, there you go. And then my oldest boy, Gavin, is uh, deploying Ukraine. Uh, while we, I was gone, he got accepted for Seattle to the job. He's going to go to ROTC. He'll be back in December, so that's cool. Um, Truman, 
My middle child, he is going to represent Washington State in Special Olympics in Florida for uh, swimming. Cool. cool. Wow. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. And uh, again, for, like, like I said the first time, I'm glad I'm back. Who knows for how long, but I'm going to enjoy being with you all. I do miss, I miss you all. Uh, when I was gone for about you know two years out, and I came home on a few weekends a month. It was as long as I've been for about a week now at home, so this is great. Uh, so I just, I hope I can stay here longer. <laughs> there you go. Well, here's a, a great person, Jenny. I spent way too much money, and uh, thanks for watching, for helping out last night, and uh, putting the Mariners well, in action, and hopefully you can hold on to it. Yeah. I have five happy dollars. Thank you, everybody, for such a successful event that we had. Uh, I'm also very happy that we didn't have to do the duck dash down the outflow channel with no water. <laughs> I, have, I have nightmares about that still. Um, those of you who don't know, we used to do it at Catherine Creek at where the bear boards are. We used to pull the boards and dump all the ducks in and watch them sit there because there's no water. <laughs> and I was in charge of it until I hit it for about six months after that. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, so I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy it's great, and everybody did a fantastic job in the club always, and everybody's smiling and happy. It's all positive, and what a great sports and tag and coins and things we have. Can't wait for the next one. <laughs> That's the truth. So I'm Amy Lewandowski. Nice to meet you. We haven't met, and who knows here I am. Um, I am married to my husband Brian Lewandowski, and we've been living in Lake Stevens for about the past five years. Um, we have a son named Jordan who is in fourth grade, and our daughter um, Grace is in second grade. I um, graduated from Jackson High School in '99, so that quick math makes me 40 years old. 
So um, we weren't sure if we're going to celebrate this year or not. Um, I didn't really want to do it for myself. And we went round and round, but decided that um, my relationships and friendships um, are super important and have given me so much grace and support. So it made sense for us to host a really big party for all of our friends and family. So we did. And it was the ultimate, um, an ultimate night. My husband got um, a bartender and um, we had a full bar, food, a live band with karaoke. It was so much fun. Um, <clears throat> after I graduated high school, I went up to Bellingham and went to um, uh, Western and I thought I wanted to be a communication major. Um, unfortunately, my aunt passed away of breast cancer when I was 18 years old up there. Um, and it really brought our family together, even in that tragic experience. Um, so that was my first experience with um, death and, and illness um, that was so hard, but also so enlightening. So I decided that I wanted to become a nurse. Um, my mission was sort of to improve the quality of life around me. So I withdrew from Western and put myself through the, um, the community college to get my nursing prereqs. And I've been um, a nurse now for almost 20 years. I've worked in all sorts of fields from medical, surgical, oncology. Um, I worked in the emergency department for a long time and now I'm in labor and delivery. Um, I don't know what else to, um, let's see. I wrote down some notes to keep me on track and I'm all over the board already. Um, when, just after becoming a nurse, I rushed in to um, a marriage and it was really abusive, so I rushed right back out of it. Um, moved back to the Mill Creek area, worked in the emergency department, and then randomly met my husband through our, through my husband Brian, um, through our parents. Um, he was an EMT at the time, a server at Anthony's, and a real estate agent. Like, what kind of craziness are you trying, what are you trying to pull here? Um, he moved up here from Kent and um, we ended up getting married. Um, we basically sold everything we owned and bought a triplex in Everett um, through and with a hard money loan at auction. So if you guys know all of those intricacies, it's kind of crazy and we got really lucky. Um, quickly we became pregnant with our son Jordan, um, but we found ourselves pretty lost up here in Everett since we moved from Kent and I had moved back down from Bellingham. We we're really looking for community and a safe place to raise um, our family. And that's when um, we joined the Everett YMCA. And um, I can probably tell a whole love story about the Everett YMCA. Um, they really supported our family through uh, my postpartum depression, um, my high risk for suicide at that time. Um, really taught me that um, how important community is. And community isn't like them or the city or they, right? It's like each individual, it's all of us participating that creates the community. That was really empowering um, experience for us. Uh, we also got invited to participate in their triathlon club. My husband and I took adult swim lessons, learned how to swim. Um, I learned how to cycle. I became an indoor cycle instructor and we've taken on lots of different triathlons as well. Um, I even completed a um, half Ironman distance up in Victoria um, a couple years back while breastfeeding my daughter even. Um, let's see, I continued to work at Providence and Brian decided to become a registered nurse himself. So um, I worked three 12 hour shifts, took care of the babies while he was in nursing school. Um, in that time period, we um, bought and um, flipped a few houses because we used his student loan money for that, which was kind of interesting. Um, after some, after he worked for a bit as a nurse, literally like three weeks, he decided it wasn't for him. Ugh. And I was like, well, you're either the bravest person or the stupidest person on the planet Earth. And he still hasn't quite figured it out. But at any rate, um, we, we took our lessons learned from buying and selling houses. We opened up a um, general construction business that is now closed. Um, we own um, a really small um, family business, Lake Stevens Roofing. And in 2020, um, we also started West Rock Commercial Construction. Um, 
doing really cool projects, one of them even being um, the multi-use building that's going to be built in the old library parking lot. We're really fortunate to have gotten that project. We're hoping to bring lots of fun and community to Lake Stephen. Is that a general contractor or, or, or a specialty? Uh, commercial general construction. Okay. That's my answer question, yeah. Um, we learned early on in our relationship that I'm a really, really good support person, and I don't know all of the details about lots of stuff to <laughs> keep our marriage going, having that separation. Um, <clears throat> we also um, bought our house um, in Lake Stevens, again, with a hard money loan at auction. Again, we got really lucky and have fallen in love with all of our neighbors. Um, and community, um, I feel like our kids could walk up to any house, like 20 to the left and 20 to the right, knock on their door and they'd be very well cared for, um, especially with the Jacobson living not far away from us at all. They just like the root beer that I have up there. They do <laughs> like Chris's root beer and chips that he does spoil <laughs> our kids with for sure. Um, Brian and I um, feel really successful and lucky for so many reasons. One of the things we implemented early on in our relationship was a vision board. We have vision boards for everything, physically, mentally, spiritually, for our relationships. And that has really um, been a foundation point in our, in our marriage and sort of our success. Every year on our wedding anniversary, um, we restate our vows and then kind of look back on the year about what our um, success and hardships were and then what we want for our future. And that has been um, a really important part of our lives, I kind of wanted to share with you all. Um, so since moving to Lake Stevens, um, I'm still working two days a week in labor and delivery. Um, Brian is like doing all of these businesses, it's insane. Um, but it's really given me an opportunity to um, find my true passion of giving and serving my community. Um, I kind of have a crazy long list of things, like from the very beginning of uh, moving here, I packed a meals with a hungry heart. Um, we paid for the food bank hand washing station. We adopted Bunting Parkway. I love to pick up litter everywhere. <laughs> Advocated for the skate park um, to replace the loose gravel with concrete and that got done. Um, we joined lots of clubs, um, open water swimmers, the Lake Stevens Water Ski Club. Um, we're just learning to row with the rowing club, which is a great group. Um, advocating for small businesses like Stevens Apparel, we're sponsors on the um, Rustic Court Bar, bar Meatheads. Um, and I think we kept Francis Coates in business over the pandemic because I ate their spicy chicken sandwich every single week. Um, let's see. Um, most of this, my confidence, I feel like I got to sort of engage in this community came from the Everett YMCA. Um, I fundraised for them for the past 11 years um, as a volunteer. Um, eventually, they asked me to be the, the chair of their annual campaign. The annual campaign is their um, annual fundraising that they do every year to support all of their services. Um, it's kind of, it's really an adult leadership program. But with um, our team, we were able to raise in 2020 $176,000 for the youth that were the most impacted in the pandemic. That feels really amazing. Um, overall, um, we really, I just really want to stay engaged and connected. Um, I feel like I might not um, have the right words all of the time, but my actions sort of show what's valuable, and I want to teach that to our kids. Um, so just sort of do, you know, I think our, that's our actions are kind of more impactful than maybe what we say. <clears throat> Um, overall, I really just want to continue to improve the quality of life around us. Um, I'm so happy to be with this group that's so engaged, and I look forward to learning a lot from all of you um, in my last 40 years. Um, you know, above raising my children and having a great marriage and continuing to um, uplift those around me, one of the most um, important things um, that I've ever done was this past summer. Uh, we were invited to be the um, to be the judges of the Aquafest boat parade, and we're able to say that the Rotary won first place. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I have so many more things I wrote down, but anyway, 
That's kind of mean in a nutshell, I guess. Hey, you have lots of time. No, I'm fine. Are we going to take questions? Oh, yeah, sure. What question? What did I just say? <laughs> so, was our, our payoff big enough that we can, we can win the, the float contest? Right, yes. Yeah, yeah. Did you see the sign up there? It said, um, what did it say? Bribes welcome. Bribes welcome. Yeah. <laughs> fine. So were you able to, to get all of the education you needed to spend uh, to get some went to community college? Level? Thank you. I went like all over the board with that. So I got my prerequisites at Whatcom Community College. Um, there are, were no nursing programs in Billingham at the time. So I moved back down to Everett and got into the Everett, community, Everett um, nursing program. I also got into Seattle Pacific, but it like, cost a lot more money. Mm -hmm. um, so it was really affordable to get, yes, a nursing education from Everett Community College, mm -hmm. been a nurse for 20 years. Um, they keep encouraging us to get our bachelor's degree, which I love higher education completely. Um, as much as my husband and I <coughs> struggled the past few years though, um, we kind of decided that the return on investment didn't really make sense with how much it would cost to get a bachelor's degree and I make one more dollar an hour. Anyways, I'm I've been certified in all of my specialties. Well, it doesn't sound like you have a ton of spare time, any <laughs> right. for, for a bachelor's degree, yeah. That's mostly just writing the papers. Well, you're, you're a lot of fun, too. I mean, you're, you're, you're crazy. <laughs> but, uh, but you are a lot of fun. A huge compliment from you, Jim. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> trying to keep up. Yeah, we were wondering why one day you talked about it always looked so good. Thank you. <laughs> I think one of the things that Amy just kind of gleaned over the case of the stance a little bit is the sponsorship of the hand wash station at the food bank. When the pandemic hit, as you know, we are a nomad food bank. We have no, no home, and our primary residency is Ebenezer. And Ebenezer says, Al can't use the facilities. It really put a challenge on how we're going to maintain an operation and provide the basic services that we need for the staff, hand washing and lab food. So Amy and Brian stepped up and immediately sponsored the washing station, which is a huge thing. And then the rest of course sponsored the, the toilet. So I know she leaned over it. For me, it's a, it's, a, it's, it's very close to personal because I'm on the food bank board. So, I mean, when, when there's a need out there, the Lewandowski's is pretty much always the answer to answer the, answer the lead question. Thanks, Jim. Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's an event in like Stevens that we haven't participated in. <laughs> Try to make sure I go to every beer garden. Uh, we were at the Run for Your Life event. That was the first time it was held this year. That's going to be really good, really impactful. Get more awareness for mental health in the area. I don't know if many of you guys knew about that or not, but it was a really great event. Amy? Yeah. Hey, uh, thank you for all you do and have done. And it's just your energy and enthusiasm is wonderful, and we're really lucky that you joined this club and the music. So thanks. Thank you. How do you hope to be involved in the Um, <clears throat> I think this Rotary um, in action is really, really cool. Um, I was um, talking with Kevin, Kyle, right, and Brian. I have a couple of suggestions about keeping it really in action. Um, right, we have all these meetings and what are we doing? Um, so I know the meeting um, every twice a month on Tuesdays. So maybe the first meeting, the first Tuesday is the meeting, and that second Tuesday is we go out and we just do it. How much we could get done in an hour with everyone there? And we can still talk about them. So I want to um, also, I was thinking about the cleanup thing. I can host that every Thursday. I can be the leader in, main, in maintaining the beautification of Lake Stevens. Um, I have another idea. <laughs> I have a lot of yeah, ideas. <laughs> My other our other idea was so I know they closed um, is it Lakeview right on the waterfront when they were taking out what they put in and then dredging the water, right? So they closed that road and that detour was kind of easy. So I think maybe in the summertime we can close the road, invite families and cyclists. And strollers and have young kids have oh. a safe place to ride their bike. That's so cool. In the town. They could even um, we can even prove how Lunding Park, which a big parking lot, is only two miles from downtown. People could park there, ride on the sidewalk, 
Two, when there we have the road shut down, a really safely to ride your bike. You can give them like a passport flyer and go around town. This is where the temporary library is. This is the fire department. This is the Boys and Girls Club. These are the new restaurants. You get a little stamp everywhere you go. Just to re-invite people downtown and let them see all the cool, amazing things that are happening. Let them know about the rowing club. If you want the bowling alley, maybe, or a, or a movie theater, you can join, kids can join rowing club, right? Maybe you can get a sailing club, gym, something like that. Do you have a Trader Joe's on there? Yeah, Trader Joe's, where you can put it. Yeah, so um, I want to um, keep our city beautiful. And I want to make sure that the fa our families have um, access and understand what is available. Love it. Does that work? Love it. That's all in line with what our goals are. Today. And I, this is amazing. This is perfect. I love that. I wrote it down. Oh, I did. I wrote it down. It's on my vision board of my. If you want to have that tattoo, that's possible. I would love it. <laughs> I could either do it on my left neck or my right. It's got to be where you can read it without yeah. fear. Yeah, where your hair is going. neck tattoo, man. That's the way. <laughs> Seriously, you want to have a tattoo. <laughs> okay, now I can sit down. Yeah, you can sit okay. down. Thank you All so right. much. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> Good to go. Uh, we're all, I think this is either a minute or five minutes. Whatever. Not sure how the clock works yet, but uh, everyone have a great week and look for that email as to where we're going to be next week. Is there anyone that wants to sign up to go to bowling night to support the food bank? $25. You're signed up. You're signed up. I'll sign you up, Lori. What about your husband? Okay, Brian, are you coming to bowling night? Sure. Awesome. <laughs> Did you say you got to send an email with a specific? Something? Yeah, we'll send we'll send an email with a specific. It's just easy the art say. center is uh, in Snohomish, but it's kind of out by Pulling Lake. It's not down in the actual town. But um, we'll go. We'll paint some bowls. We'll have a glass of wine and some snacks. And um, when they're done, we'll send them to the food bank. Um, I mean, my kids go right. Hundred percent. Yeah, I work. So I can send Brian and the kids. They would love it. Yeah, you can. It is twenty five dollars a person. And we, you can just Venmo your money to the club, to Lori, or pay me um, the night of, and I'll get it to the club or to the art center. But it's an awesome deal, and I think it'll be really fun. And if it's if enough people come, we'll just do it annually, right? And just keep supporting the food bank into infinity. Okay, everybody, have a good week. And again. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, next Friday sounds like it's kind of up in the air. Yeah, they just said this email yesterday. Yeah. 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 So um, what we could do is, is uh, we could, you know, we could actually have that very computer. Uh, actually, I can take that and I can post the video on the house. Uh, 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 yeah, we have a real speaker. And I think she's planning on doing it virtually. Oh, okay. Um, so uh, uh, I guess what I'm getting at is is if we do it, the buzz in, we're appreciating their Wi Fi and, and who knows, you know, and, and I kind of worry that. There may be a little bit of risk that we won't be able to get together, so that it's a slight risk. It's just a lot easier that, you know, you can always do a phone, but you don't want to be host with that, for sure. Um, yeah, if we're, if we're at the buzz then, that would certainly be a challenge. With the bandwidth, uh, I'm thinking maybe we could do the hotspot. Yeah, hot spot and those, yeah, those usually work pretty well. Yeah, yeah, especially if our speaker is virtual, we want to make sure that we can get done. Um, I guess another option 
be someone being elected to start starting a meeting in your place. I mean, I guess I could just show my office. You know, I could, I could just do it remote that day. Because that's what I'm actually thinking about is when that room is about to pop us tomorrow, and we are still in social distancing. Yeah. Yeah. Really probably makes sense. Time. Yeah, I can just start the meeting from my office here. Maybe we just zoom it. Yeah, and anybody that wants to the buzz in, you know, yeah, uh, folks still you know what, what you can do is, is you know, I mean, if you want to go or whoever wants to go, um, they can take a, a laptop there. Exactly. Yeah, they can just bring, yeah, they can do you know, party. one laptop yeah. there. We sit around the table and then, uh, yeah, chances are the Wi Fi would work there anyway. Yeah, they have Wi Fi. So that way, it's really low pressure. You don't have to worry about. Everybody yeah, 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 I like that. Yeah, let's just zoom it. Yeah. Okay. We're debriefing for the. Yeah. We're debriefing about next week right now. Yeah, we're going to zoom next Friday. Oh, we're zooming next Friday? Yeah. Look at here we are. Look at how pixelated we are. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the things. I look fat on. Yeah, I look fat on. That's a good idea. Yeah, still here. Because it also could be, yeah. You can't have too many people projector as well. Anyway. Good to see you. Yeah. 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 Uh, but I've been, we're not doing budget, we're just going on deck. We're doing a good exchange for the transportation package at Lake Street. So that's what we're taking on. We're going to have to do it. Uh, I don't know how much money we're going to have to do it. 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 Some divisions, right? For some of us, uh, is it obvious? Divisions? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm more of like, get back to it. I'm actually okay with the government going and getting employees to get back to it. I get I'm businesses doing, I'm not okay with you know, forcing everyone to do it regardless, but they're not. Uh, they're your employees, uh, and, it, and I've changed my attitude, especially since this last couple of days. We had a trooper die. He's 38 years old. He's got two kids. Healthy guy. I knew. I, I know this is a trooper. Yes, I How did he get it on the week? Was he harassing someone with it? Or? Do they know? Well, I mean, you can just be right and take off. Yeah, but I want, when it came out, like, because as a police wife, I know yeah, yeah, yeah. there is some support that comes your way if you're yeah. stood in the ear as I did. And I'm like, how are they, how do they know that he got it on duty? Because he was bringing someone to, we're, you know, arresting we're someone. To, or how yeah, do, we're, how we're trying to, we're trying to find it. I was really sad by it, and I was also angry because, like, this could have been avoided. It was avoided totally. It's heartbreaking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, of course, there's a discussion now that it's like a hunt for patrols. We can't have them here. You gotta have to go out in the field and die. Yeah. Yeah. Because all the code people decided, ah, I'm not gonna do that. And I had a horrible session. It was awful. I, 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 back, you know, I don't know if Ken told you, but he called me. He did? Yeah. Weird session. So we're trying to, like, they called me, let me know about this late decision. Then I called Dyer, the Marysville Police Chief, Boss Pit Blockbox, tried to get in. I couldn't get the votes, so I had to, I had to do a fallback position. That's horrible. Horrible. I'm just seeing if there is a, there is no thing here. What we normally do is we just put everything in that podium. And 
Uh, I think well, we're, since we're keeping it super simple, uh, we can just keep everything there, and it goes into that backstory story group. Yep. And this and stuff isn't that valuable. I'm uh, worried about uh, walking uh, off. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's another reason not to go to yeah, whole hog. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, we get we get a window. So, we're looking on five hundred bucks, five hundred bucks. So we can get something that's be worth our time. Okay. So and we've got tall stuff. So like the tripod, you know, like that sign and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, well, I think we know another thing we might try okay. is. Um, here's, 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 here's. Yeah. And I'm sure this is probably wrong, yeah. but going directly into. If this is the only USB we're using, we could just go directly in. And oh, yeah, I didn't need that. I just automatically do that in case somebody's oh, got a, a presentation. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you and know, that's not really the Chromebook. There's, no, there's not a lot of viable ones, you know. Yeah, but, but we've got it covered. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so um, yeah, basically, yeah, basically everything here, including the little yeah, adapter. So, uh, yeah, normally there's one here, but you can't count on it. So that's all. Yeah, 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 that's perfect. So, I mean, moving yeah. forward then, I mean, I guess I would just need the login credentials for the Zoom account. Um, okay. um, actually, I have got I saw our legislation. I've never needed it because it's automatic. Okay, it's just in the event that something crazy happens. Browser cache is cleared, and we don't have that password anymore. I will. Um, the only thing, uh, the only thing that you, well, you don't need it because if it's just that is the only code that I remember is a fifteen hundred. Oh yeah, yeah, that's easy. Um, so um, I do have a a, a crisis yeah. And then, that uh, that you know, Amy put together that's got kind of, kind of some more of the stuff. So I'll look for that. Yeah. And uh, uh, so I'll leave this with you. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna leave it. This to me. And then you, you'll take your tripod back. I'll you take the tripod. You just I'll order a new one. Yeah. You just order a new one. You can do that here too. And I'll order. I got that folds up too. So we got kind of all the parts. Yeah. If, if, if we get one that folds up. Yeah. Or if it, um. No, we will do that, and then uh, unless you want me to do it. They feel like, 